This is Brian Ramirez. I'm one of the writers with Motherboards.org. I'm back to go over what I've done with my system since getting the water cooling system in. Basically, I've got it all up and running, as you can see behind me. What went into it was the uh, XSPC Raza 750 RS360 water cooling kit with the inclusion of the Danger Den GTX 560 water block. Installation was not really all that difficult. The most difficult part about it was removing the original uh, heat sink and fan from the GPU. You have to be very careful with that because the way that those are pasted on, it can, it, it can break your, your card as you're removing it. So you've got to be very careful and actually kind of twisting it, twist it as you remove it in order to keep from breaking it. Other than that, everything went together pretty easily. Uh, the hoses are just slightly smaller than the fittings uh, that I used, the barbs that I used. So those went on a little, a little difficult, but other than that, it actually went together fairly easily. The way I've got it set up is so that all I have to do to fill it is unlock a couple of uh, uh, my bay locks on the side, pull the bay out, fill it, and then just put it back in and pop it back into place. So it's, it's actually very easy to, to fill and to, uh, uh, to clean out if I need to. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a novice. This is my first time doing a, a full water cooling setup like this, and it wasn't actually all that difficult. I managed to do it in about four, four and a half hours, and it performs really well. Let me bring up some screenshots. Before water cooling, my processor at a, a 3.6 gigahertz overclock from the 3.2 that it, it is uh, stock, I was hitting temperatures of 51 degrees Celsius. My video card, which is overclocked from 822 megahertz to now 900, was hitting 66 degrees Celsius. And that's running uh, 3D Mark 11, pretty much maxed out. Now if I go to the after scores, after adding the custom water cooling loop, essentially I took, I shaved 50, or I'm sorry, I shaved 10 degrees off of my CPU, it went from 51 to 41, and my GPU was huge. It went from 66, if you can remember, to 46 now. So it maxed out at 46 degrees Celsius while running the benchmark. So that's a 20 degree drop. So as you can see, this really does work and does an amazing job for the amount of money that it costs. Roughly the kit itself with the included water block for the GPU was about $300. The case itself is 200 bucks. The motherboard is the 990FX AUD7 from Gigabyte, that's 250. The processor is the Phenom 2 955 quad core, that's about $140. The power supply is the Thermaltake 850 watt Black Widow, which by the way is actually a really good power supply. And that was 120. I'm running four 500 gig me mechanical hard drives, and those all together about 200 bucks. I've also got a solid state uh, hard drive from Kingston. It's the V plus 128, and that's uh, about $220. I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium, that's about 100 bucks. And I've got an optical drive, and that's about $25. So all total, including the GTX 560 Ti video card, the price comes to $1,785. So that's not bad for kind of a budget high-end system. Thanks to Frozen CPU for giving us the parts. Thanks a lot, Mark. We really appreciate it. And we hope to get more from you in the future. So further on down the road, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a kind of mid-range video card and we're going to get a water block from them and show you basically how to install everything but that'll be in a future video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe